I've got vascular dementia and that vascular dementia started from me having a stroke at work. I was in work like everybody else, just sat down at the table to have my dinner. Next minute I know that I'm in hospital and the outcome of all that, they found out I'd had bleeds to the right hand side of the brain and then things started to go downhill. I wasn't noticing it. Well, what it's like, I mean, believe it or not, people said to me, what is it like living in dementia? I, you are the last person that you realise that you have got problems. You don't notice things going wrong. It's your family, your friends and people around you that spot things. Then you start realising later on, after something has been explained to you that can I remember? No, I can't remember doing that. Can I remember? So it is difficult to live with it, but at the end of the day, you just get on with it. I'm not a person that wants to just sit here and sit and watch that television. I want to be active, get out of there. Okay, you forget things, but it's not a, a problem. You, you just get on with it, and that's me. What's it like? It, it can be uncomfortable sometimes, like you perhaps forgot. I've had my breakfast and you say to your wife, I've had my breakfast, yes darling. I've had, I can't remember, well don't worry about it love, and say my dinner, I've had my dinner darling. Well do you feel hungry? I know, say to me, do you feel hungry? Well no, well no, because you've had your dinner, dinner darling. So, it's uncomfortable when it comes to meeting people, well not so uncomfortable, perhaps the wrong word, but you, you meet people and you, you look at them and you say, hello, I'm sorry but I know your face, but I can't remember your name. So they say, don't worry about it, Trevor, it's all right, my dog. They was here and they caught me early. This is what I understand that needs to happen. Get there early as they possibly can. You need to be get referred to the doctors and uh, memory clinics or any people need to find out how they can get in touch with your local speech or therapist get there because I think I understand that the longer they leave it, the harder it is for the speech of therapy and the person that has got the problem to get them back. So I think early bird catches the worm. Well, it's not my saying. This is saying that's come from somewhere. If you don't use it, you lose it. And that is very, very true. So I want to keep it going. It, it's working both ways. Why I'm helping people out there that's unfortunate, that can't get out there, that would love to get on that stage or love to get into that place and talk to people and explain what's going on, they can. So I'm hoping why I'm an ambassador for the Alzheimer's Society and Dementia Friends Champion training for David Cameron. I'm hoping it's getting the message out there to help these people that cannot be helped in any other ways. And, but it's helping Trevor, it's keeping me active because the last thing I want to do is sit in the house, sit and watch television, that's not going to help me.